I showed Justine to graduate students in the academic program I teach in the School of Media Studies at the New School. Some of my students are aspiring filmmakers, others are just interested in the documentary form. And um, I found it was a very interesting discussion. Uh, the questions that arose had to do with um, the decision to have the family only included as spokespersons at the end. And a few people, in the, in the beginning of the discussion, wondered why they were there at all, because they so liked the observational camera and the single-minded focus on Justine and her environment. And um, others um, were um, really pleased to have them segregated, to have the opportunity to experience Justine without anybody as mediator, apart from the camera, uh, and then to meet the people in her life and to um, who they've seen already in the film, but to have them speaking about their relationship. And they very much liked that, that both elements were there and that, that the majority of the film consisted of this extraordinary um, invitation into Justine's life. Um, I still don't know why it was that of all the films that I showed, it was one of the most popular. Uh, and I showed some terrific films from around the globe. Um, but I think it was very touching to um, young people in their 20s, early 30s, who had a feeling for her and her life, whether they were siblings of, of um, family members who also had challenges, not necessarily Justine's, or because they identified with the problems of growing up. So I think there was a little bit of that, but uh, certainly those who are thinking themselves about what their ethical responsibility is um, when they pick up a camera, that it was inspiring to think that you could take that resolve and honor the subject in a way that allowed for two very different experiences of her to emerge in a film. So we had a great discussion around the film.